Hello ladies and gents, I am Anna Diffin and welcome back to Particle Fleet Emergence, a Creeper World Chronicle. To what might be the last mission because I have... Oh no, I do have another one. I thought because Codex and so on. So, no, not the last mission. Getting close. So, let's head over to Origin. Mission 15. So, collect any and all tech licenses and info caches. At long last, the crew reaches its mission objective, only to discover the unthinkable. The origin world has been destroyed. That's pretty unthinkable. Let us begin. Hope to coming. This history is incredible. Every civilization destroyed by the same thing, over and over. The galaxy purged, then rebuilt. We meet to inform Chief Tycon. The Creeper. I couldn't agree more. Wait, we're coming out of rift space. Chief Tycon to the bridge. We have arrived. Very good, Danu. Status. Origin world detected. On screen now. In Odin's name. Destroyed. Broken into countless fragments. This can't be. No. This wasn't supposed to happen. The origin world can't be destroyed. Danu, scan the system for the remains and particular activity. The planet and moon have been shattered. They are held together, or perhaps apart, by plasma. Particulate struck and some odd spatial anomalies. And detecting some energy crystals, remnant artifacts, and enemy structures involving four ni near the planet and with unknown purpose. There are also two large unknown structures. One is on the moon, and the other is on a large fragment of the planet. I'm adjusting scanners for deeper scan. Yes, there's an info cache in one of the planetary fragments. Perhaps not all is lost. I'm going to have to cross... Helheim to get to it, sir. There are also structures in what is left of the planet's outer crust that will replenish um, that massive band of structure around the planet. I don't know where they got the energy, but that barrier could nearly be impenetrable. Whoa, that is insane. Crew, the origin world is lost. We've come all this way to learn that secrets. These secrets are now lost. Our only hope is the info cache and get what and get the records of the precursor civilization. If so, the rewards may even be greater than the secrets of the origin world. Get me that cash. Good grief, look at this. So, there's that thing. Let's begin over here. Let's build the corporate HQ here. Done. Go, lathe, and pause. Let's do this thing. Grab a cruiser. And now the tech. All of the techs. Defensive struck. At Omni Cannons, Mine Cannons, Mine Dischargers. And move build speed. Sir, Ogan, Anna. We have a problem. Unknown structures near the planets are constructing ships. There's also one near the moon. I don't know what is controlling them. One of the four ships near the planet is making what looks like a cl class one ore transports. Refining, refining the sensors. Danny, scan the moon. Ore. There are ore deposits on the moon. They must have been exposed when it was shattered. It's a good bet those ships are going to collect and ferry the ore back to the planet to power those strict generators. Your worst fears have come true, Ogun. All right, the moon it is, sir. Sir, we should focus on that moon and destroy those ore deposits. Taking out the ships w would also work, but I have a feeling they would just be rebuilt. In any case, we need to cut off the ore supply to the planet. What about the enemy ship near the moon? The design is unknown. It doesn't have engines, so it's either stationary or not slow moving. It seems, to it seems to have been designed to stay near the moon. Excellent, I can do actually just, just about in range. Build another lathe. Particulate anomaly detected. Analyzing. It came from that base on the moon. That is brilliant. A perfect marriage of technology. Thoth, do a full analysis. Thoth will, con will confirm, but it seems the base is merging a sort of particulate emitter. Jump engine and some scanner technology. It creates a, a mass of particles, pushes them into rift space, and causes them to exit at a specific location in space. In any case, it creates particulate around the remnant, 
remains of the planet, but another way, a barrier between us and the planet. One more reason to pay a visit to this moon. One positive note, Ogan. The tech doesn't seem to be perfected. If the scans are correct, the particulate we, will be created will be short-lived, much like the benign particulate we encounter. It will be short-lived one way or another, Anna. That I can promise you. Good grief, that does take a lot big a lot of time to build that. Bit, move this one down. Omnis build, lots of omnis. Goodness, that's a lot of particulate. Ah, so there's the ore transporters. Even in this system, we find an Omni license. I won't complain, we definitely need it. Okay, move. You guys move up. Build, 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 build. This is a very large ship. A space station, isn't it? I'm gonna create, and this just keeps building all those omnis. That'll actually be a decent wall of defense. Class C, because that thing is really good. And that. Goodness knows what that is. Oh, I reckon it's a battleship. It's probably got like a load of these cannons on. That would be awesome. Let's move up and go capture it anyway. Destroyer. Go over there. Okay, they've actually built that cannon, which is a pain. Ship license retrieved. I don't know what to make of it. It's massive. Ogun. Ridiculous. The ship is a ca oh, carrier. Nice. These haven't been in service for thousands of cycles. Modern armaments and ships made, made them obsolete, and I've only seen old vintage footage of them in action. But you know, Cam, take a look at the schematics of the fighters. Stealth? Is that some sort of stealth tech? Just like on our guppies, but stealth tech isn't, wasn't available when these carriers were in service. So when it either altered or created new carrier design that had these fighters with stealth tech. I bet I know why. Chief Tycon, this old carrier is about to have a new life. A life-destroying particulate. Okay, it's a carrier. That's amazing. Now, how expensive it actually is. Nice. Right then. Cruisers. Yoven. They're firing lots of cannon things at me, which is weird. Marauder. Okay. The massive cannon planet is nearly charged. Based on the energy readings, I can only th have a theory on its operation. We best prepare for the worst, crew. The cannon will create a ray of particulate instantly, similar to the shield on the moon. Excellent insight, Doth. Of the cannon charges, its scans match those of the shield generator on the moon. But the cannon has a scanner I don't recognise. I recognise it. It's a ship targeting scanner. It's a basic and currently antiquated targeting scanner. As an old as I is, it unfortunately is still accurate. That planet ecology is about to cause some grief. So it will target our ships. Evasive deployment may be necessary. I'll attempt to spread the fleet out so ships aren't in line with cannon. Otherwise, we will take massive damage. Steady crew, our objective is that info cache. Planetary cannons or not, we're retrieving that cache. Okay, let's get some tankers up and running. You are now up and running. You are almost up and running, which is amazing. 
Uh, looks like the carrier. The carrier has a couple of guppies on its own. Oh, there we go. Blast through the ships. Quite neat. So grab micro tank. Is absorbing a lot of energy there. Retreat back. Hmm. Let's try and get everything up repaired, built, and all that sort of jazz. Just build up, build up, build up. Um, do that rock burner. Let's just do a little bit of rock burning. No, I don't want to get rid of it too much. Set emergent rally point. Um, let's set it straight up that thing. There we go. There's the fighters moving out. Right, I need to keep an Omni on each piece of land, it seems. Probably only one, but I do need to keep one on each piece of land. Next, I can now put a grabber. And now could do another tanker there. Where's my lathes? Lathe, get over there. Enemy ship destroyed. Good. Where's my other tanker? There's the tanker. Trying to absorb all of that, but I'm currently using a lot of production stuff. Maybe ship is destroyed. Good. Then you move up. Ouch. Come on, fire, destroy. It's good the benign particulate is working well. That particle is working well again. Release and emitter control. Okay. You can move up. Moving. You're disabled at the moment. That's fine. What are you? Most amounts of energy. Move back so you can just be powered directly. Get 
get some discharges built. Oh, that's my HQ instantly sniped. That makes it considerably harder. Got the HQ build. That. Get a big nose built as well. Oh, good grief. Stop blowing me up. And power everything. Good, good. So it's not a bit of a waiting game while I try and destroy all this stuff. <laughs> Cannon and that, they're firing. Ah, stop shooting me. Build. A lot of that. Fine, you can actually destroy it. Charge nicely. Bam. Ouchie. Stop. Stop shooting my HQ with that gun. Get grief. Right, so that's those destroyed. Advance up. Advance, advance, advance. Right, you advance up to there. You advance all over here. Good. Right, there's the Omnis. Right, advance up. Try and get round. Cruisers, go. One, two, three. Hmm. Not as successful as I'd have liked. try it that way. So at the moment there's all of this to try and clear out, which is a real pain. Good, clear it out. So 
clear that out like that. Good. Annoying all that stuff. Right, come on, everyone get across. Right. At least two of them can land. Nope. They all destroyed. Got destroyed. Doesn't that make this a lot harder? What did I lose? Lost the C class? Oh no. That's annoying. You advance up there. Looks like it got disabled. <sighs> Stop shooting my HQ. Remarkably irritating. Big nose. Let's try to get to this thing. I think I need to get my rock burner back. Hmm. Get the mind star, just go back to the rock burner. Cause can I can I move non-friendly? I can! Okay, that makes it a lot easier. Just burn all this down. Great big hole for me to push into. You move up to there. We should have destroyed. That's fine. It's kind of the job. Move up to there. Okay, advance in. Advance again, try and burn all that way. So there's just getting tons and tons of stuff there. I can't really do anything about it. Just kind of cope with all of the all the anti stuff there. Okay, should now be able to advance both of these up. Yes, I can. It was a bad idea, because I lost them both. Tweet that that. Mm, irritating and annoying because I'm about to lose power. Yay. Mm. Wonderful. I lose. Nothing. Good. Carry got damaged though.
you can't go there, so you just have to return. So that's now put me got a really good location there. And actually, that is a power source. Being a power source, that is much more useful for me. Lave. Go over there. Don't go through the middle. Wow, you survived. Okay, do go through the middle then. That's very, very unlikely. Oh, still burn this rock? Let's just burn it. Destroy the moon completely. Go retreat back. Yikes. <laughs> Big holes cleared out in the stuff there. You don't seem to have an ore or <laughs> things stuck on your front. Bit of a buggy in us there. Okay, let's just again burn this one. What's that then being processed? That Whoa! That's the painful hit. Destroyed both my S class and my HQ. Should probably if you just pay attention to where it's firing and move my ships. Uh, but My benign immersion actually doing anything. It's destroying little bits, I guess. Get the S class going. Moving and lay a lathe. So that land's now just be destroyed. It's going to take me a while, this mission. ages. So we can't actually just take all of this out. Because if we can free it, then I can kill it a lot easier. Again there. Let's just treat back. Soon this stuff is going to be released from its torment. Okay, I just don't need to release any more than that. I just can get my ship right next to it to destroy it, but actually, right. 
It's in a safe location. Well, it was safe before it blew up. Right, come on, lathe. Good, that's going to hit in that location. Ah, HQ almost died again. If I should put it on here, that should absorb some of the your stuff, which will be very nice. So all that stuff just fires and blasts through. Okay, let's try again. Take out this, take out, out this emitter. I was trying to get to that info gash. Sheesh. Right, that's all now eliminated. Excellent. So that should disable the cannon. So the cannon's going to fire, anyway. Good stuff. Everything moved forwards. You... We are now on the offensive at last. Everyone, move forwards. Try and smash through the threat here. So I lost the tanker. Where's the lathe? Oh, I'm destroyed. Okay, fair enough. That explains where that is. Yikes. Oh, Maya. Good. Go forwards. Break through everything. Get destroyed. Slightly rotate to attack that one. Tanker destroyed, okay. The two lathes. This is taking a real beating, this one. So close. So she's just relaying the inf stuff over there, which is good. Try again. Send both these out. 
Well, we're gonna get that out of the way anyway. Ah, retreat! No, come on, that's just gonna blow up. Yep. So maybe if I take out the other ones, it'll slow it down. Right, okay, so the hammer is taking its beating. Unfortunately, I lost... Lost the lathe. Next lathe, go. Oh, heck. It seems, though, that I managed to take that out. to destroy that with ease now. Well, relative ease. Advance, advance. Advance. Just break through that. Destroy. Those two going forwards. Smash the cruiser in. Hammer dies. Let's destroy the hammer, build the hammer back in own territory. Advance, 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 advance. Just absorb everything. Right then. That's the majority of them now destroyed. So just need to worry about the emergent. Which there's not much left. Go tankers, go carrier. Advance, advance, advance. Advance up to those locations. More Maya. All these all these can actually go forwards, which is amazing. I actually need to clear this stuff out, don't I? Whoops. Clear it out. Let's 
Take it all out. Well, good, it seems that the Omni is actually functioning. I say as they all explode. Well, let's try again. Advance again and again. Cruisers move up. Um, where are my lathes? My lathes are destroyed again. Oh good, the little fighters are actually engaging the things, the tower things. Move forward to destroy as much of that stuff as possible. Nice. Good. Build, 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 build. So they've demired that land. On the big nose. So just need to grab all technology, which is basically just that info cache. this land here. Okay, so I should be able to move these Omnis up, grab that info cache. Excellent, info cache retrieved, analyzing. It contains the missing records of the precursors. It would take time to process and generate an overview. It, along with the other records, are many yutterates of, yutterates of data. I had to employ AI algorithms to even begin to create a summary. It will take some time to process. Thoth and I are on our way to assist. Process the data as quickly as systems allow. Crew, we will jump to the rift space and determine our next de destination while there. I suspect the longer we remain there, the more we are at risk we are. Jump! Excellent! Spent the time, I think I've been forgetting to do that last couple of missions. Exit! Fantastic! And, wow! Best time, one hour. Good grief, I am getting slow at this game. Alright, thank you very much for watching this episode of Particle Fleet Emergence with myself, Anna Diffin. If you did enjoy the episode, please leave a like and or comment below, as it is always great to hear from you lot. Otherwise, that's it for me for now, and I shall see you next time. But until then, I'm out. Goodbye!